Hello, I'm alive and welcome. Um, Wendy's going to be um, coming on with me in a minute, so we'll just wait on her. I always get so nervous on this stage once we're crafting, nerves go. So um, hopefully Wendy will request a join and she's watching a social request. And we're just getting our set up going. Hi, Lynn. Okay, so let's... So we'll go approve for one day to join. Hello, Wendy. Good morning. Good morning. Give me just a mo moment to uh, okay. yeah, get in here. <laughs> Oh, I forget. Nicola, up and down. Okay, I got it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are we to in front? Oh, I'm going to be working right into my craft desk today. I'm up the top. Can they make these contraptions any easier for us? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> They've always got to be difficult. Um, oh, I'm going to be working well. Right, I've got picked a large project today girls so <laughs> um refresh this one okay i'm working on getting myself oh where we go i'm getting on the computer now um hang on a minute we've got a bit of back lag is your um your laptop or your second thing um turned down wendy i just turned it off on yeah. you Okay. Yep, I realized it. I'm I'm almost I'm almost ready. Right. I'm trying to enlarge it on the computer so I can see comments. Right. So I'm put there. you there. Okay. Hey. Okay. Alrighty. I see where I am at, and let me just see where I need to be. Um. <laughs> okay. Right. Hey, are we are we all prepped? Just gotta turn you up on the phone. One sec. Right. So, there hi Lynn. Go. Hi yeah. Gypsy. Uh, hi Charmaine. Hi Kim. Where's my secretary? <laughs> we ain't got one. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to set this crap up for me. <laughs> okay, I just gotta get cords out of the way, and I'm ready. Just hey, one little second. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Karen. Welcome for joining Cap. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. Welcome for joining us. I don't think both of us has had our um, amount of cappuccinos and coffees we need yet. <laughs> okay. All righty. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Ivy. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Why okay. does Ivy have to speak about food and cream brulees and custard donuts? Like, Fine. is she doing it on purpose to me or something? I'm sure she does. I'm only <laughs> having a poke. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, honey, whenever. You have a fresh cup. Me? Where's mine? Come on. Oh. You, you, you come on. You've got to bring the coffees for me and Wendy. <laughs> I just did my favorite thing. I ripped a piece of fabric. Oh, I hope everyone heard. Oh, what a beautiful noise. I know, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to explain quick what I'm doing, and then, and then you can explain what you're going to yep. do. We're actually doing kind of two different things today. I'm starting with getting rid of some strings. I'm starting with what was a mayonnaise container. Um, I, I really love repurposing these types of containers I do actually use a lot of them throughout my space so for now a little bit of a repeat of what I've done before but this is what I'm going to work on and um, I actually have a second piece then to talk about um, but I'm going to start with this I'm going to do some peachy color peachy pink out of some of the items I've dyed so that's what I'm working on that sounds really like um, fascinating so I'm going to be working on mine but um, I'm going to be watching catch up later to see what you do. Um, 
So we're basically today doing junk, junk to, to treasure, trash to tre treasure. Um, as you've seen the other day, I found this um, cake stand board at the uh, thrift charity shop and it was 50p, so I want to rip that off now. And using some um, toilet tube and kitchen roll holders. And I am going to be creating with the uh, Ulala Vintage Treasures ballet drinks um, collection so I'll put the link um, to her at say after the um, life <laughs> right so we're going to start going ahead and creating um, Charmaine was like I do repurposing a lot yeah we yeah um, I love, I I love repurposing <laughs> Right, so um, I am going to, I was deciding what I was going to do here for the base. Um, I didn't know whether to add doilies um, to it, to cover it, but I thought, I was looking through my stash and I thought, oh, Charmaine sent me this glittery, sparkly sequined um, Ooh, fabric that's pretty. at Christmas, so I'm going to use that as my base. That's real pretty. I'm starting with a piece of dyed bridal satin. Again, I don't know how well. For me, it's, it looks very pale on my screen. Hopefully, some of the color's coming through. If not, it will in the end as I build my layers. I always start by covering my piece. It's a little bit over down here, but I'm okay with that. It'll either get covered over like this or trimmed. I don't know. We'll see as I go. Oops, I don't know if I can get that band off. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> so, yeah, so Charmaine um, got gorgeous. And, oh, yay. <laughs> and Lynn's loving the pink glitter fabric. Yes, we've all got a bit of this, haven't we, Lynn, between you, me, and Charmaine. So um, I thought I'd use good, it. Good grief. <laughs> So, well, maybe we'll have some blue accents on this one. <laughs> oh, there we go. I might get it this way. Ah, uh, uh, woohoo! Anybody want a bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> Repurposing, right? Hey, we're on to something. We're on to something. Yeah. Look at that. You know what? Seriously. Hmm. Uh, what are you thinking? You're going. Yeah. To, your mind's in overdrive, isn't it? I don't know. It might be a. It might be part of today's project. <laughs> <laughs> so, girls, I'm a little bit slow off the mark um, today just because it's such a big project. You'll only see me gluing down half of it here a minute, but um, I'll get on to it after I finish. <laughs> okay. Well, we have a. Base. I wonder if I should just glue this all under. I wonder if that would be sturdy enough. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think it will be, but I'll leave it like that for now. Okay. Back into the bin of wonders. Let's see. What's next? Actually. Right, so I think I've got that covered. I'm just going to use it. So what is your base? A cake plate? Yep, it's just a silver cake um, plate. Is it um, like cardboard or metal? Uh, or? Um, I think it's it's cardboard because I poked a hole through it last night and I'm just testing it. Um, and it seems to be it's cardboard. Nice. Right. Um, so next step is... Um, and I've ruined one of my other Ulala Vintage Treasures design team projects with the boxes for the lid. But we're always repurposing things as we go. We'll create something and then we'll repurpose it. So I am just going to attach that kind of central. Hopefully it'll stick. Wait for it. 
didn't rip as much as I, as nicely as I'd like, but it ripped. <laughs> I've been ripping fabric all morning. Oh, just beautiful sound. Is it? Isn't it? <laughs> okay. Okay. So where are we going to now? So then I was thinking maybe a doily for the insides. Nice. You have my my rapt attention, Charmaine, but <laughs> I don't think nobody knows what I'm creating yet. Like they're like, what is she making? A mess, as always. I think I'm making a mess today too, but you know what? I love it. <laughs> this one Girls. Is I'm playing, just winging it. Yeah, as long as we have fun. That is what it's about. Okay, so we've got that going. Um, okay, so... I'm hoping I can show you everything here because I'm so far back. Um, yeah, I ruffled this lace up um, and I'm going to just put it around the lid. <clears throat> okay. And then what I'll do is, because you might not be able to see it, um, how I see it because of its bigness, I will be taking photos so you can see everything afterwards. Oops. I think I get nervous, like, um, how can I put it? Nervous sounds, your body just goes into like nervous sounds. And my, it's not in my stomach, it's in my like top of my throat. And it makes funny grumbling, rumbling noises while I, whenever I'm live. And I was listening back on my um, our live, our live last week, what two weeks ago, and I couldn't hear it, but I'm hearing it constantly. So it's like, I suppose we hear things our bodies make and no one else does. I don't hear it, to be honest with you. Um, perhaps you're, you're like you said, maybe you're hearing that in the, your feed, the feed in the replays, but. It's not coming across that way. At least I don't hear it on my end here. Yeah. Good. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, am going, I am going to take this off now. Um, I'm going to start paper um, gluing around my, my um, tubes. So this is going to get removed. And I will put that on the floor. And this is um, using offcuts I use to make my album with. So this is another way of using up your um, offcuts as well. Charmaine, all great, great things start with a mess, move on to an ugly, what the heck stage. I'm glad that I, I, I looked at that and it wasn't the WTF stage <laughs> what the heck stage um charmaine your inner crafter coming out through your throat i don't hear it over my stomach growling <laughs> are you hungry charmaine <laughs> right so let's get some of these tubes and start um gluing i'm searching for lace here we go found some No, that was going to be too small. Let's have a look here. Okay, let's do that one for that one. So, um, me and Wendy's been speaking, um, and Diane, our moderator, is going to put it up in the events and create the event for this. It's just a fun um, craft along, um, so you can do it, you know, as you go. There's no going to be no 
big brownie points. Um, but we will oh. have a little prize that will get put in a flat pack envelope um, for um, some, like picking out the pot for who those who join in. Um, each fortnight, me and Wendy will come on and um, do a live creating this so it's going to be a series and it's to create a junk journal so we'll be on showing you how to make embellishments tags hidden paper clips things like that um and try to create um a junk journal together um for the more advanced that know how to create junk journals you can join in um We'll have two two categories, ones for beginners um, and ones for more advanced. You don't have to come and watch the lives if you're um, more advanced. But we thought it would be a fun way to get um, newbies not knowing how to create a junk journal um, starting to create. We'll try and go through um, various signature um, binding methods. Um, and we'll both be doing different, won't we, Wendy? Um, if, you want, if you want to explain what we're going to be doing with the differences. Um, um, I am going to use... Um, sorry, I'm cutting a piece of something or other here. I'm cutting a piece of lace. I am going to do Mayan... Um, sorry, I have to think now. I have to switch modes. I am going to be doing my junk journal with uh, coffee dyed papers, um, just some random, uh, I'm going to be doing a pink one. My, my color scheme, my, my color scheme is going to be pink. And I am going to be using just, um, um, not a kit. I'm going to be using random uh, uh, photo papers and coffee stained papers I'm going to stain myself. I'm going to... Um, <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> Can you tell? Stain myself, stain the cat, stain the house and the husband. Yeah, yeah no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dip some coffee paper. I'm going to then um, stencil on some. And I'm, I'm considering the possibility of making a couple digitals. Um, so I'm going to play with that a little bit and perhaps have them available at some point. So Ooh. my kid is going to be... Um, just very random. Um, Nicola, I believe, is going to be using a, a uh, kit from one of her designers yeah. or one of her, her um, kits that she currently has. So um, Nicholas is going to be a little bit more um, um, cohesive. Would that be a good word? I'm not sure. And mine's yeah. just going to be a little bit more willy-nilly and random um, music sheets and such like that. I'm working on one right now. It's almost finished. Just a, a quick little sample, um, which I'll get up for the weekend. Um, it happens to be a purple. I call it, I call it the purple lady. Uh, it was one of the free digitals. Help me, Nicola. Was it gingerbread? Yeah, the gingerbread prints. Yeah, I used one of her free, the free purple lady because I love purple. So that's the one I just kind of was dabbling with to play. And then it's uh, like, oh, well, this might be an idea for something for us to do together. So I'm going to finish that and get it posted just for an idea, a sample idea. And then I'm going to be working on a pink, a pink uh, a theme. My thing will be pink and floral for the next one. Brilliant. Yes. But so that's what we tag. Sorry, tags yeah. and envelopes and all sorts of little ephemeras and little tucks and such and such. So that's what we'll be um, creating. I'm just reading through the comments. Okay, so I decided I'm going to trim the bottom of this now after all. Shall I put what pound paper do you use, Nicola? Um, that's a hard one. Um, because I am going to sec. I hope I don't go sending any everything flying here whilst I get off my boots. Um. While she's looking, here's a, another idea, another thing that we're going to be do, doing. We're going to be using up some of our scraps, uh, probably in the, in the journal project. So I just cut the bottoms of my, of my uh, jar a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. And um, I got to trim a little bit there. But I'm going to put this into my, my little junk jar to grab out of a little later. 
So to Charmaine's question, I actually went and bought the nav. I don't know if you can see it. The Navigator Office Paper Solutions, two hundred GMs, and my printer does not want to print on it. It ends up um, spitting out half a page or not wanting to um, feed it through the printer. It I just, just hates it. Um, so I buy Asta. Um, pretty craft section card. I think that one's about 180 grams. Um, yeah. So, or pounds, sorry. GMS, it's, it's grams, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. yes. GSM is grams. Um, grams. I would say, I think it's believe, between 160 to 100 and 80 but it doesn't actually say what what gms it is um so i was taking a wild guess there is a good comparison online if you if you type in <clears throat> gsm versus american pound or pound okay uh paperweight i am going to cut into this gorgeous colored um bridal applique actually this was lace that i that i dyed to put on to here next beautiful beautiful uh, wendy's kits uh, uh lace dye kits are absolutely stunning thank you she dyes herself like she says she dyes herself yeah. blue and she looks like a smurf so i call her my little <laughs> smurf yes every now and then i end up with Colored hands. I've been trying to wear gloves, but it doesn't always work. <laughs> Charmaine put 180 is about 67 pounds for us US, uh, in the US. Hi, Debbie. So, if there's anything um, you ladies want to um, learn or you want us to do a live on, um no please say we'll take everything into consideration if we can do it we will do it if not we can't <laughs> that simple if not we'll fake it we, we'll fake it we'll, we'll try something up yeah <laughs> if, if we can't do it we'll just kind of you know pretend and it'll still work out <laughs> we like to uh pretend we know what we're doing sometimes right so I am working, um, what you call it, how would you call it, methodically here. I'm trying to uh, get down the bulk of what I'm doing in little stages. So now we've papered up the tubes. Um, obviously, you can see I've got some left over on the top um, where I'm going to be adding my laces to. I am just very random randomly taking snippets and pieces and just randomly gluing with no rhyme and reason at all kind of like a crazy quilt type look just to use up a couple bits but yet to add some fun um, elements to this so this one's just really doing it making its own making its own oh that might be nice around the top hmm you might save that. Hi, Vivian. Good morning. Or is it? No, hey, hang on. It's good afternoon for you. How are you feeling, sweetie? Mm -hmm. uh, Vivian's not been feeling too good lately. So um, oh. it's nice that she's popped on to watch. I hope everything is okay. Anyway, I'm doing it off screen, and I. This is so hard because it's so far back on my craft desk at the moment. I'm off screen doing things, and I'm like watching, watching um, the lag on the thing to see where I'm positioned to. And I'm like, oh no, I'm off screen. Yeah, I'm trying to keep an eye on it too. <laughs> They say people are us women are good at multitasking, but half the time I just think that's an excuse. <laughs> I 
Ladies, I need to be excused for a moment. I am roasting. I need to turn my ceiling fan on. Just a moment, please. <laughs> I wish I was roasting. I'm freezing. Well, it's not warm here. It's just I'm I'm under like I'm under all the production lights, you know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know? hair and makeup and all the production lights and camera. I get ya. I get ya. Give me a minute. I'll be freezing and putting my sweatshirt back on. <laughs> move the air around a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Cara. Sorry about that. Hi, Cara. Thanks for coming. Ow. <laughs> okay. Where are we at here? Showbiz. Yeah. Vivian yeah. said showbiz, girl. So I, I keep wrapping these laces around. I'm so far back on my craft desk. So I know some of you ladies are up really early watching us. So we'll put that one there. Taking shape a little bit here. It, it is. Let's see what we can put over here. Time to reach for another bin. All righty. Is that too pink? That's too pink. Ooh, I have some glitters. Ooh, can you all see this? Oh, that's pretty. You can see it. Glittery. I think I'll sneak a piece of this on. Let's see if I fill that in right there. Yeah, we I love it. Missed you too, Vivian. It's nice that you've come on today. Can't oh, thanks. <laughs> Cause this looks like so much fun, ladies. May need to do one for my pens, pencils, markers. Thank you for the inspiration. Ah, so you're catching on what it is, Cara. Yes, it's going to be a utensil, you, you know, for our pens and scissors. Ah, to okay. Sit on Something similar, just on a kind of a different scale. Yeah. Awesome. Um, trying to go through all my little lacy bits here. I didn't want to bring out a whole load of stuff, and like I just wanted to use what I had. So I was like, okay, challenge to use what I've got on my desk. I have a question for those of you watching What do you find is portable enough to take on? Um, a car, a, a car trip, a, blah, 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 a car trip, or a weekend away, or a fun, a fun a little excursion. Um, what do you find portable enough to take with you to work on? I feel like I have to take my entire craft room with me because I was going to say a whole suitcase. Something. I was going to say a whole suitcase full. <laughs> yeah, like what do you take? That you, if you are, that if you work on anything, a desk organizer. Oh yeah, that's what she's making. Yes, she's making a desk organizer. Um, just wondered. I'm getting. I'm going away. Um, to, well, I'm going away for a weekend soon, and I just I love having something to do in in my little bit of spare time at night when we're back in the room relaxing and blah 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 and. I never know what to take along. I don't do a lot of fussy cutting because I know that's also, you know, good to take. Right now I'm trimming a piece of lace, of uh, applique. Um, I don't take a lot of, I mean, I don't do a lot of digitals and, and fussy cutting and I just never know what to take. Does anybody have a, a portable kit they take away? 
So I may mean, not take the cr entire craft room, but crochet is what I end up working on. Crochet, okay. Yeah, yeah. we're get, getting into that like slow stitch and um, like lap lap crafts at the moment, um, which will keep us occupied, you know, if we're not at our desks. Clusters, that's a good idea, yes. Um, just little scraps. Little scraps, which what we will be doing um, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll be using up our snippets yep. and scraps and scraps of paper and scraps to make flowers. You know what? I have to be honest. I I don't know how to make flowers. <laughs> That's something I need to learn. I, I don't know how to make flowers. I mean, you need to research that. That's a good idea. Are you talking about like the lacy shabby chic ones that we make? I know how to do those. Like, um, let's see. I Oh, here, I might have one real close by just as an example. I know how to do where you like make, um, just a second, where you take a uh, cheesecloth. Okay, I've yeah. done it with cheesecloth. And I guess you make like circles or squares and you fold them. Real quick, as soon as I can get it out of my little box here, because of course, you know, I have a whole box of that kind of stuff. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay, I know how to do something like this, which is it was in a circle, and then you cut, uh huh, you know, you cut yeah, that's that's pretty. I know how to do that, and then I have um. Oh, look at this. Maybe we should do these sometimes. Oh, Nicola, we got to talk. Look at this. Don't forget, I've, I'm on a delay. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry, hon. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Let's do those sometimes. We'll have to talk. I can't find the one I really want to show. So you're Did talking I... about, like, Prima uh, papers? Well, you, oh, you know, I love those. This is a shabby-ish looking one that's kind of lots of, like... Cheesecloth, then satin, then cheesecloth on top, but I didn't finish. But I'll get, we'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm digressing. So let's, I'll get, we'll get back to it. We'll talk about flowers sometime. But yes. Oops. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm thinking here, I'm making a mess myself. No, you, you won't believe what I just did. I dropped. Okay, we're good. Everything's cool. I have two different extension cords going because I want to keep the phone plugged in and I want to keep the laptop plugged in. And I bumped it and everything come flying. Okay, I'm going to sit down and get back to crafting. Hi, Beth. Clear. Beth's joined us. Mm -hmm. Woo -woo. Beth. Beth's joined us. She's, uh, Good morning. She's, good morning to you. Sorry, guys, gals, ladies. I just bumped everything. Remember, I'm new at this. <laughs> All right, back, back to work, friends. Back to work here. All righty. So this flower that I just dug out of the box, I did make. I think I'm going to take some of this along. So Charmaine, thank you for the idea. Um, I'm going to just put this piece of bling on here and put this on my container in a moment. Finish it off with a piece of bling. I'm sorry, girls, that you can't see everything I'm doing with me, like, in front of me because I just haven't got the space to work with. <laughs> so just I'm cut, cutting things here at the moment and just um, putting the hot glue around the edges of the, the bottoms. This is starting to take shape. Thank you, Kara. Yeah, that's that's something. That's an idea. Maybe one day we can do flowers, or I can pop on and maybe do flowers, or we'll have to see about that. There's um a lot that make make the pretty shabby shabby flowers, which I absolutely love for our fabric journals. Absolutely love, but. 
I've um, started making um, like Prima paper flowers before, um, but I haven't got the punch. So basically I was um, tracing around papers and shapes and just cutting them all out. And by the time I glazed them all up and fluffed them all out, it took me about <laughs> an hour to make one. I'm like, no, oh, no. not going to be doing this one again. <laughs> oh, bad. No worries. We're glad you're here. A couple minutes. We'll take a couple minutes. Can't you call in sick today? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just I'm teasing. <laughs> we love you, Beth, and we'll speak to you later. Thank you for popping over. She did say I'll try. Yes. It's very early for Beth. It's, uh, what time? Seven o'clock in the morning for Beth. And Kara, I think it's pretty early for you, too. I believe, if you're still on, I think it's early for you. Okay. Well, what shall we do next? Oops, it's making noise here. Yep, it does take that time, Charmaine. That's just because I'm slow at making them. <laughs> Everyone's like, Nicola, you're a fast crafter. And I'm like, really, I am not. I think some things go real quick and easy and then other things, oh, not too early. Okay. Oh, 9 a.m. That's not so bad. Okay. So you're only an hour behind me because it's 10 o'clock here. Not too bad. It's like, love you all. It's 10 a.m. here. And I'm looking at my clock thinking, no, it's not 10 a.m. <laughs> and it's 10 past three for me. I'm like, well, I am in a different part of the world. <laughs> shall we add in some beige? I think we sh shall. Okay. Again, a little bit of a blingy. These are all, almost all my items are from dresses that were cut. Yes, um, Charmaine, I was talking about the prune flowers you said you used to trace and cut out. Yeah, like, um, hold on, I must try and find them. Um, a bit like these. Yeah, oh, sorry, I can't see it, but I'm just showing you at the moment. I'm trying try to get in the frame. So these kind of flowers um, that I was making. Uh, and... Um, Absolutely love them, but I am not going to spend that much time in um, creating them. I'd rather buy them. Right, uh, how are we going to do this? Because I need to show you what I'm creating. I'm going to try and clear a space and move it back a little bit. Right. Oh, for me, me too. I would love any flower, any flower. I would love to learn. I um, I did I did one. Whoops, gosh, again. Sorry, I bumped it. You're gonna all take a tum twirl with me. There you go. That was not an earthquake. <laughs> that was just wavy. She's bashing everyone around. Yeah, giving everybody a ride this morning. <laughs> right. Now I've got the kind of I might have this little space there to put something, but so I was going to put my tiara kind of around you have a tiara you should be wearing it <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. oh that's an idea Space. Uh, uh, tiaras. just gonna tip it up and hopefully you can see where we're going with that pretty right. very 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 cool And then, oh, that's, right, so that's kind of like that. Um, Vivian, it's around 3 p.m., isn't it, Nicola? Yep. Charmin, I love to learn to make those. Mm, maybe I can get some punched out and maybe make one or two up. What kind of punch do you need? 
Um, a, can, we're looking to look at a five, probably a five petal punch. Can okay. When we get off, I want to send you a picture. See if it's what you're referring to. Okay, because I can show you then um, how to do them. I've made tissue I roses have. that look real. We would love maybe hot to you top on and show us that Charmaine. Um. And then I'm going to add my swans to the front somewhere. Oh my okay. god. Um, that is and gorgeous. We're getting now. We're getting there. I'm kind of right. So, oh god. Right. So I cut this um, silhouette ballerina out of the papers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a um skewer skewer up a bat on her back <laughs> um just to give her a little bit of um rigid rigidity if that's the right word it's just so she stands up a little bit um that's purple more. looks too purple Right, I'm concentrating here, girls. Gluing this to the to her back, and trying not to burn myself. So if you hear me go, "Ow!" You know, I burn myself. <laughs> okay, bye, Gypsy. Thank you for joining us, and uh, I'll speak bye. to you. I'll send you a message after. Thank you. Have a great day. I, I did. I forgot Gypsy came in. Um, she's one of my friends from um a um a gaming group that we do on facebook oh cool oh um, nice coming in i invited her over and i said uh it'd be nice if you come and watch our live so that's what she's done i'm sorry i wasn't chatting to you much gypsy i'm gonna poke this hole in and hopefully uh remember where it's poked to <laughs> it's hard to um find when you've just poked it through fabric and I ain't going to remember am I so I think I'll do it again and try to I have a cricket but I don't know how to use oh no what about Vivian what about watching YouTube would that help maybe crickets I would love a cricket <laughs> All right, I'm testing out different color little flowers to see if I have the, the right color and tone, and I don't know that I do, at least in that little package. So let's go to a different little package. Oh, I think I can use one of these because this, oh, yes, would go for that. Okay, let's put that there. That's Charmaine replied to Gypsy. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I will show you a photo of my finished piece. Um, I've just sold my brother's scanning cup um, because I just was not using it. The amount of times that it, I, you know, the slowness of it, I would have fussy cut two sheets by the time it had just sucked in one sheet to um, scan and, and everything. Yeah, that's even before it started cutting it. And the awful noise it made. So, oh. yeah. are they noisy? Is it noisy? They are really noisy. Huh? Didn't know that. All right, we're getting there, guys, girls, ladies. So, has anyone? Um, because Wendy's um got me some stick pins. She went to Hobby Lobby the other day, and she was showing me around. And um, the internet was a bit slow. Um. But in places I could see, and oh my god, you are so lucky over there. <laughs> All those beads in the aisle and the Tim Holtz and oh, it was like we, dream. It was a dream. We had fun um, shopping together on, on live. I was <laughs> saying to all the everyone I was walking by, I'm all with my friend in England. I'm all with my friend in England because I had a, I needed to find something specific we were looking for and. I kept going to the clerks. I'm all at my friend in England and I need help. <laughs> we had fun. We did have fun. And look, yeah, the poor ladies at the shop were like, hi. <laughs> I mean, 
I kept saying, say hi, say hi. <laughs> we did have a good <laughs> We did. But um, Wendy was like, do you need anything whilst we're here? And um, like, I think they had the 40% off section, didn't they? On There was, yes, yeah, certain things were 40% yeah. off. On the stick pins? Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, they were half. I think those were half price. They were half price. The one, yeah, I, that was in the. Um, oh, let me think of what it's called. Um, <laughs> the jewelry section had a half price on that brand, yeah. and it happened to be part of the jewelry. So yes. Okay, girls. So I will be adding little tiny embellishments whilst I'm offline, but. Um, I've kind of new one created mine at the moment. I am just, and you can't see it, I'm trying to push this back as far as I can so you might be able to see glimpses of what I'm doing right at the front. But I've, um, I've been making moulds up of what Al uh, Charmaine sent to me as well, the IOD uh, moulds. Nice. Very neat. Vivian. Oh wow, I see. I love seeing Joanne's Dollar Tree Thanks. Hobby Lobby. Thank you, Kara. Uh, see you. See you online. Bye. Kara, take care. Thanks for joining us. You ladies in the US are so lucky. Yeah. Vivian, Vivian where are you, Vivian? Vivian's from Ireland. Oh. Oh, nice. I'll shop for you if you want. Seriously. Just let me know. We can arrange that. Postage is kind of wacky, but... Okay. This, uh, where are we going to here? I don't know where we're going to put this. Put it somewhere. Right. So I think I'm just about done. How far are you then? Me? Yeah. I'm just about finished as well. Okay. So, um, final touches and filling in some spaces and I got to do a little something over the top here. I want to cover this egg. Vivian put, we would need to arrange a container to get it all over. <laughs> <laughs> Charmaine, just yeah. make sure it doesn't weigh a ton and it will get there. Yes, I mean, Charmaine's Christmas present to me. Oh, my God, she stuffed it so much. And then the amount of postage it costs. I've been trying to stick to two to three pounds when I send over. That's that's not terrible. That's manageable. Yeah, it's kind of like working out the, um, the kilograms, isn't it? And the pounds and... Yeah. So I'm going to use one of mine to put my glue sticks in because then I don't need to go searching no more. I'll shove them in there. Then I'll get my scissors. And this is the test because normally scissors make everything go sideways. So I'll put my two scissors in a back lot. What else can I put in there? Um... Okay, so put some of the stuff that my, my cutter, the one that Charmaine made for me, my Shepherdcraft Corner uh, knife, put that one in there, nice. and the pen she sent me, oh. and the brushes there, um, me and Laura made this pencil on a, what did we, did we do it on a live, or was it just something we made? I think we did it in the group, didn't we? We did something there. Um, there, my my kind of pokey thing in there. Um, what else have we got here? My glue stick. My glue stick, maybe. Uh oh, oh this one upside down. Wrong way. Mayday. I'm gluing the wrong side on. Let's do this again. Charmaine, uh, my box to Nicola was thirteen pounds. Oh. It was it was huge. <laughs> uh, tomorrow's, 
tomorrow's Groundhog Day here in America. Who all watches our our Groundhog? He's um, near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is about four or five hours from me. But anybody here watch the Groundhog? <laughs> what is Hulk, uh, Groundhog? Hulk, Groundhog. What is a Groundhog? What, no. Um. What, what is Groundhog Day? I think I know what a Groundhog is, but what is um, Groundhog Day? Well, I'll get you the official, like folklore i believe it was I, I mean i don't know like when it began but they say and i don't even know what it is if he sees his shadow and, and or if he doesn't see his shadow it's six more months of winter or we get an early or if and I don't know which it is. It, you know, if, if he sees it, we have six more weeks of winter. Or if he doesn't see it, early spring. But I don't know which one it is. But it's just, okay. it's a big, big deal. I mean, we've we've been out to this stand where they actually pull the groundhog out in P Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. We've we've driven through there and been there. But um, so tomorrow's Groundhog's Day. Okay. <laughs> it's just old folklore, I guess. I I'll research it for you. Because I honestly don't know. But what if you put you also I'm have right. to watch the value Oops, sorry. as then we get hit with the customs tax. Yes, Charmaine paid for customs tax for me too. So she paid that on top of the postage. Um, which unfortunately, you know, customs caught on to and we tried so hard to say, you know, it was a gift, it was you know, paid for and no it, they, one of them, um, Laura, uh, yes, I forgot about that. I sent mine to Barbie. We need to make a, make more. Yeah, because we kind of created, uh, I put a little um, clip, paper clip on my pencil so I could just like clip it onto paper as I'm writing. Uh, we did the roses on the top and the lace and the buttons. So... I've kept it there. Um, I got to you. Uh, yeah, it got to you. I'd do it again. Oh, thank you. That was fun. Me and Charmaine spent a whole day opening the Christmas presents together. Aww. Uh, I think she stayed in her pajamas all day. <laughs> I'm going to use this, but I don't know if it's going to be seen very well. Hmm. Maybe I'm not going to. I like it too much. All right. I need a little something here yet to fill in. Let's see. Where is the lace? Where are you? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Needs a little something, something right there. Okay, let's find a nice piece of decorative lace. Uh, oh, is this the one that you made, Ivy? I don't know. Where, I want, can I? Is it in frame? Let's <laughs> have a look. Oh, yes. Is that the one you made, Ivy? Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't know whether I'm making the ones that she, uh, using the ones that she made. She said, make sure you use it on something that you keep. So uh, I'll be using it on. Yes. Nice. I'm not in frame. No, I think I am. I'll put you there. Trying to find little bits that I can find on my craft desk to keep adding, but it's um, it's hard. I hard to do because I can't show you. I'm doing, like what doing the same thing, just looking for little bits and things to fill in here. <laughs> I mean, all you're seeing is the ugly side to it <laughs> on mine. Looking down at it, but I'll um, after the live, I'll get off and take a photo of. What it's looking like. I don't know if I can just pop it up a little bit. 
got everything thrown out. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to see the front. I can't oh, good you. lord. Ladies, I am so sorry. I keep bumping everything. I need to readjust, I think. Next time. For next time. I'm so sorry. You sat shouting outside. Can you hear a really horrible noise outside shouting. Oh no. We've had police paddy rad wagons right outside as well last week and we're like nosy twitching. Who's getting up? No, actually the police officer come to our door Ooh. and he, he knocked on the door and he's like, We're looking for such and such oh. and my husband's like, No. You've got the wrong address. And he's like, can you show us some ID? So my hus husband had to um, pull out his driving license to show him that he wasn't this other bloke. Wow. So, uh, yeah. He had the Mr. Policeman knocking on our door. You should have I'm asked like, him to crash. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I haven't done nothing wrong, I promise. <laughs> I'm an angel. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we need yet. Something right here. Need to break this up. Okay, let's put in one of you. This is getting there. I don't like that. I mean, it's like, lo, you are an angel, Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What do you think of this? Crazy. It's beautiful. Different. It's a little different. Let me get and make sure I'm in focus and in frame here. Oh, that's what's wrong. Ladies, hold on. I've got to adjust. I just realized, like I said, I'm new to doing this. Bear with me, please. Is that a little better? Better. Okay. That's yeah. better. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys, girls, gals. Okay, so this I th think might be done. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. It's looking really pretty. Very di different for me. Uh so let's just do a quick run through. So of course here's the top. I have it secured enough that if I go in, I'm not gonna grab the edge of the plastic, which isn't that bad. A sharp. I, I actually, um, it, it was sharp when I washed it out. I did a, ooh, I, I pulled back quick because I got a little bit of an edge. But this is just, again, like I said, for me, really a random type of piece of the colors and the the decorating. But that's what that's on. It's pretty. Thank you. Just a slow little turnaround here. So what are you going to be using yours for? Uh, pens, pencils. Um, you know, I, I have, you know, a shipping station. I have a printing area. I have a, I have, you know, different little areas throughout the house where I have stuff that I need. A scissors or a, a tape or something at my fingertips. So I, I really do use these little containers. Mm -hmm. They're very useful for just putting anything in. Yeah. So this one's, like I said, pens, pencils. It's a, a little taller. I got to fix the bottom a little bit yet. Um, it's a little bit taller, which will take the scissors. They're kind of now resting on the edge there. But again, even if I just do that, for me, it's it's worth it just for that. Because the neck, the neck opening on this one is a little narrower. Well, that's that one. Are you going to keep working? Um, I think I'm finished. Okay. And um, I what I'll do is, I mean, as we are um, finishing off the live, I'll quickly take it out the holder. Hopefully, it will stay in frame, so I can show a front view of it. Um, and I'll just probably keep adding little bits as I go. 
like little bunch of flowers and what have you. So I'll take a photo later. Um, but we are done. And like we say, we'll be popping on every fortnight on. Do you think a Saturday would be better for our lives, everyone? Like a Saturday, um, Saturday for hopping on and do these lives because more people are off work. But um, if, if we did a Saturday, for me, it would have to be after 12 noon my time. That would be like, so like yeah. six, five or six o'clock for you. Yeah. That's Which still, normally I'm making our um, late lunch lunch, aren't we? Yeah. Or a, sun, or a Sunday. We'll work, we'll work that out. But I think we can somewhere we'll pop on on weekends instead. Um, and do one of the lives but like I said if you ever want us to create something or learn something just shout us and give us suggestions I'm just pulling off my glue webs and I think we're done okay so Vivian Pitt can't wait to see the pics of your photos yours is beautiful Wendy oh, thank you. so I'm mean, good with the weekdays but you might get more on the week weekends okay well we'll discuss it we'll have a a talk through but i'm going to um end it now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to unclip you all and slowly bring to show you all my project in front of me oh my gosh thank you charmaine Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. I don't know if it'll sit on my desk because as you can see, it is huge. So I'll have to probably put it up where my sewing machine is. But um, at least I've got everything in one place and I know where everything is too now. Absolutely beautiful. So um, thanks for watching us, ladies. And um, we love you all. Have a great day, everybody. Buddy, thank you so much. I'm going to add a little bit here and there as well and tweak it just with mine a little bit. And I'll put up a picture in a little while of how I finished it off as well. Thank you. So thank you for joining us today, Wendy. And I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye, ladies. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. -bye.